Hey everybody, it's Darkslayer from Darkslayer TV bringing you some more StarCraft 2 action. And today we have a team game straight from practice. Um, we were just having practice and an amazing TVT came up and they wanted me to cast it. And you know what? It was such a good TVT. I said, you know what? I will. I will cast one of our practice games. And uh, spawning up here at the top left of Shakuras Plateau, we have the Blue Terran, Vec. Who is a diamond player on the North American ladder. And down here at the bottom right, we have our red Terran, Dark Onyx's Breeze. Who is also a... He's actually a platinum Terran here on the ladder. And normally I wouldn't cast uh, too many practice games. But this was an amazing game. And I have seen it. Uh, but it has been a few days. I waited a few days so maybe I could forget some of the micro and action that happens and I won't be able to just cast knowing what's going on as that's not very good practice. But I'm ready for this game. This game was amazing and I just can't wait. And I actually can't wait for the next practice because this ga these guys are just so much fun to play with. But uh, yeah, I do have the new blue snowball if you can already tell. I'm loving the mic so far. Um, if you guys can hear something and you know about the blue snowball and you think I can improve it somehow, let me know in the comments section below because I'm not 100% sure how to use it. It's pretty easy, it seems. More of a plug and play microphone with three settings, not too hard to figure out. But uh, here we go. If we do check out each other's builds, we're not seeing any super early gas yet from either player. And, uh, D Bree's doing a little bit of scouting. Once again, no gas. Uh, nobody's actually going CC first, which is no surprise as it is TVT. I don't know why I even brought that up. But, hey, you never know. These guys might get cocky. It's team practice. Oh, there we go. Co two gas now going down here for Breeze before expanding. Isn't it weird how I was talking about the gas the entire time as if I've seen this game and I'm waiting for gas to go down? That's the problem with casting a game you've already seen, but that's okay. We're going to do the best we can. And uh, Breeze actually doing that thing. I love that. They'll start building the supply depot and then they'll just stop building it because they don't need it yet. So that way you can't get the scouting information. Oh, the Marine's going to come down here. He might even get to snipe the SCV. But uh, Vet going with an early expansion here. So Breeze going with double gas because he didn't. Or yeah, going with double gas. And I need to set myself to busy. Oh my. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. So, Vet going to go with an early expansion is that when he was scouting, he didn't actually see the double gas go down. So, Breeze might be able to do a little bit of damage here and uh, going to go ahead and grab double barracks here. Triple barracks. So, we got triple barracks coming in for Vec and uh, what would appear to be some mech play coming in from Breeze as Breeze does have the factory down with double gas. Um, whenever you do see this kind of play, it could be a 1-1-1 one, one, one all in. It could be super early Banshee harassment. And then it could also just be for a mech style play with Hellions and Siege Tanks. And, uh, with proper micro can be very effective. Works on pretty much any map. Uh, Cloud Kingdom is pretty good for drops though, as there's a lot of space behind each base. And Barracks are going to finish up here for Vec as he has taken double gas as well. However, his timing is a bit more standard as his expansion is completed. And he's going to go ahead and start trying to mine down here from the natural. And there we go, a starport down for Vec. And look, er, for Breeze and Vec doing a scan, just barely missing the factory and the starport, which is actually going to play out to be very, really uh, bad for Vec as uh, all he's seen with double barracks so he probably assumes that there is an expansion down here but there isn't and uh this factory going for the tech lab and it's going to go ahead and lift up here for the starport so we're going to go ahead and see some really fast banshee play in four breeze vec doing the standard only four marines on the field getting his bunker up going straight for that macro game but breeze isn't going to have any of that as he wants to get the pressure on really early here Vec with uh, only one bunker and a marine. This SCV going to go up here to try to do as much scouting as possible. However, not even going to make it up the ramp as the bunker was in place to deny that. And uh, constant marine production here from Breeze. And they're in the most excellent position ever. Because if an SCV does try to go up that ramp to see if there's an expansion, these marines are going to peck it off way before it even thinks about checking for that CC. We do have Cloak on the way now with the Banshee in production. 
and uh, this tech lab finishing up as well and instantly going for siege tech and siege tanks so yeah straight up mech play coming in here from breeze however back with a little bit of a lead as he does have an expansion down and everything basically Breezy is going to have to do some serious damage with this Banshee, or Vec may get a serious lead here, as uh, the economy is just so far in his favor that he's going to start soaring by, and oh, Vec does see the Banshee, and he's fully aware of it, as Breeze did decide to peck it off. Um, whether he saw it on the minimap or not is unknown, but since he did attack the Marine, there was a indicator that told him the Banshee's on the way. Even going to use the Marines here to help push. And uh, first siege tank making its way across the map, but no expansion down here for Breeze yet. So Breeze going really, really aggressive here. Might even be considered an all-in. Gonna go over here and try to start sni sniping this tech lab. And as the Marines leave, uh, these Marines might try to push. However, he did smartly leave them in the bunker. And oh, it might go down, but it cloaks right at the right time. And a scan does go off, and it does go down. Sadly, not doing very much damage at all. Not even getting able to, not even getting to snipe the tech lab there. Siege tank production for Vec has started. And uh, Breeze, another Banshee siege tank finally making its way over here. And his siege tech is already finished. As he's going to siege right here at the bottom of the ramp and start smite, sniping away at this bunker. Breeze playing very smart here as that bunker is in such a vi like crazy position even gonna get salvaged Vec not wanting to lose it however that's a lot of marines and uh, I do believe no stim pack is not finished my apologies and, oh the tank is unseached these marines can move in to engage at any time here they go they're gonna start making their way down here but the siege tank does come back up and uh, he's gonna go ahead and take a few shells from that siege tank Vec does get a lot of marine kills here, but that siege tank is causing all kinds of problems, but that luckily that combat shield has been upgraded, so it takes a couple of extra shells to get those marines down. And he's going all in with those marines trying to kill that banshee. And as you can see, it's just constant siege tank production, few marines left at home, and more and more banshees on the way as he has three queued up, one being a medevac, not sure if that was on purpose or not. And uh, the siege tank's now going to start shelling away at this natural. Breeze is doing the exact amount of damage he needs to do to be able to end this game. Or at least get caught back up as his expansion is down. And it is actually finished morphing over to the orbital command. Um, not quite caught up to Vec yet in supply. But oh, free banshee kill. Oh no. Oh, the banshee does kill the siege tank right as it does die. That, that last volley was shot right before it died. Another scan will go down to this banshee taking a lot of damage. Was pulled back smartly. Oh, the siege tank had no HP and did get shot down there. And uh, one hell of a standoff between Vec and Breeze right now. Um, it's a big siege tank hop. And uh, the Marines are making their way across the field now. And look at this Banshee with 2 HP and no energy. And oh, using the Medivac to drop directly onto the Siege Tank. The Siege Shells are not going to do splash damage to the Siege Tank. And the Medivac has arrived here for Breeze. Not sure if he meant to get that or not, but it is here, and it is healing his Marines, so it's helping regardless. And look, Breeze saying, you know what? You're on your toes. I'm going to go ahead and take my third expansion. Breeze really wanted to get back into this game economy-wise. However, it does look like Vec is going to push this back. He does have his Marines pushing forward. Does go ahead and get the rest of those Marines. And using the medevac to instantly drop on the siege tank. The siege tank unseaging. And oh, Breeze just barely picks it up and goes, starts flying away as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh. Both players using each unit to their fullest ability. It's crazy. And uh, Breeze doing everything he can to get back into this economic-wise. He hasn't used this third yet. That's the only thing. He's so focused on this micro up here. And uh, this mech play doing pretty good here for Breeze, but Vec with an excellent hold. The only problem is he's staying on one base, so Breeze is getting so far ahead, it's absolutely insane. Um, Vec expanding way earlier, but once again, Breeze just taking expansion, mining, doing everything he can to catch up right now. However, some nice siege tanks on the uh, high ground are going to uh, clean up most of this, as there's only a few marines left and a very hurt siege tank. And the army is so far in Vec's favor right now. He can almost push this and finally get rid of this contain. And oh, Vec is saying, you know what? If you're going to contain me, I'm going to go ahead and drop your base. We're going to make that a thing. And uh, we're going to try to remember this as it does fly across the map. We'll keep it selected. And uh, Breeze now just building up an army, trying to build up an economy. Actually, doesn't have any SCV production right now. He took the third, uh, grabbed his natural, but there's just no SCV production. So uh, losing that could be economic lead that he would have. But Vec is 
soaring right now in the supply lead as the army here is greater than the army here and we have a drop now landing right here and here we go the marines are going to go ahead and drop and start taking out all the scvs which isn't good as there was no scv production to begin with and uh, he's going to go ahead and try to take out those SCVs, but a well-placed siege tank is going to stop that. He does move the medevac in here to engage, and I'm sorry, I've got a new mouse sensitivity, so I am moving it everywhere. And the siege tank is going to go down, and most of the Marines do survive as combat shield is finished, taking a lot of extra damage. And these Marines are just going to now be able to wreak havoc here and breeze his base. He's going to maybe try to go for the expansion here. And uh, another siege tank is completed, so we could see... Another siege here, and meanwhile, Vec did push Breeze back, and the containment has been lost. Breeze in a hell of a position, as Vec has a superior armory, army in every single way. It is now forced back onto one base, and as you can see, the minerals are almost mined out. Breeze is going to start making his way across the map here, as he feels he has to do pressure. But how can you do pressure when you've got an army like this? It's so far superior than yours. Breeze now going to go over here and try to defend his third and SCV production has begun again as he's desperately trying to claw his back into this game doing an amazing early aggression but Vec being able to just out macro him and keep him and just push him back and now he's just going to be on his feet and uh, Vec now with a doom drop making its way across the map Breeze with a siege tank out there not sure why but uh, Vec here we go going straight for the third base and oh, he's going to drop all the things. All the Marines aren't focusing the medevacs. And all of these units are going to get dropped. These Marines are going to melt oh so fast. Even getting a scan off. The Banshees are going to fall left and right. Breeze doing everything he can to hold on here. But uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. If he keeps a constant stream of reinforcements, Breeze is going to be in one hell of a position. Uh, Breeze doing his best to create more and more units to hold this off. But he has no money and uh, none of these buildings are building anything and oh right as some units are finally here to kill off the rest of them he does go ahead and drop on top of the siege tank before is able to siege excellent here by Vec keeping Breeze from being able to kill these just these five marines and a few medevacs and Breeze gonna have to pull his SCVs which is exactly what he doesn't want to do is he has no money at all gonna run him straight to the natural and they're just being chased down by these marines and the stim and combat shield for these marines is helping so much the marines without it aren't able to do anything even excellent micro here as he kills off so many scvs even picking up at the last second right before he gets uh surrounded by the scv he's going to bring him straight to the natural and do another drop as he goes to pick up even more scvs and mules breeze oh man he is so far on the back foot look at the natural here for Vec. he's keeping up production like crazy Breeze now moving in to finally clean up this medevac, but Breeze is just so far behind, it's absolutely crazy. Breeze, man, you're going to have to pull something crazy if you do want to get out of this. Oh, man. Breeze, Breeze, Breeze. I don't know what you're going to do, man. As the Doom Force is making its way across the map here for Vec. Oh, and Breeze is going to see it as he does have the Zelnaga. Oh, man, there's a Banshee up here. He must have forgot about it. And Vec now going to come down here to kill off the STV, and he knows about the doom that is approaching. He's going straight for the third base. He scans the army. He knows it's over, and GG. Vec taking that game very convincingly. Breeze with amazing aggression there at the beginning of the game, but Vec able to hold on, do excellent micro, and uh, just amazing game from both players. As That was a platinum diamond game, very micro intensive we checked the APM tab the average for Vec was 102 and the average for Breeze is 86 as he did stop SCV production it really crippled his economy really crippled his unit production and uh, Vec able to take that game